Yeah, it's happening now. How's it going, Insta Instagram crew? Good morning, Insta crew. Uh, today I'm gonna make an awesome painting. Of course, today is Wednesday, where I get to show you uh, how I create artwork and my sort of my philosophies and my thoughts on creating artwork. Let's see what does this thing measure. This thing measures something. Let's do this. This thing measures 18 by 18 it's a square. 18 inches by 18 inches. Give me some corazones, guys. Give me some hearts. Let me know you're here. Let me know you're ready. And here we go. So I'm gonna make a, 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 a little birdie right here, but I wanna make it somewhat abstract and impressionistic in nature as I like to do some stuff, some of my stuff. So let's make it, let's go. Ooh la la. Ooh la la, there we go. Something like that. And this allows me to to kind of figure out my jam, okay? It only starts this way. But it will allow me to be like, oh, okay, dude. Cool. I know what to do. Ooh, maybe a little flower right here. Who knows? And this sort of tells me where I'm going, what I'm doing. <laughs> How's it going? I'm going to take out this mean massive brush. Massive brush. Guys, if you guys have any questions or comments, I'm going to be doing this every Wednesday. You guys are going to be seeing uh, uh, a painting created by me, probably more than Wednesday, but today I get to talk a little bit about my my uh, approach. I, I think I'm always talking about my approach. But today's different, let's call it that. <laughs> All right. This one a little slight red. Okay. I've been playing with yellows a lot lately. So I'm gonna bring in the yellow right here. Just because I can. Alright. Then Check it out. I feel like I got the power. Check it out. Something like that. So, I, I think that when one creates artwork, whatever that type of artwork is, I talk about this extensively in other videos, uh, you kind of have to let go, you know, you kind of have to let go, you have to kind of get out of your comfort zone and just... Uh, Maybe start looking at it from a different perspective. And that may, may very well mean uh, doing things that you're not used to doing when you're creating artwork. Mixing media, uh, especially when you're starting out, because a, a lot of us, when we start out, we want to know it. Like, we want to know what to do. And 
there's a lot of a uh, lot of different schools of thought out there and you know whatever everyone is entitled to their thing but what i found for me is that is that when i was starting out i had no idea what to do and i didn't want to paint uh the same way as you know as I mean, I'd like some of the stuff some artists are doing and, and, and did in the past, but I don't want to do it exactly. Right? I wanted to I wanted to develop my own voice, and I think a lot of artists suffer with that. We I mean suffer such a hard, harsh work, but, you know, to put it in those words, it's 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 a bit difficult to figure it out because we are conditioned to to having something ready from the start. I think uh, a lot of people I've talked about that. Many people express that, but that's the way to, to go if you're an artist. And man, I'm hungry. I think I'm gonna go have, grab some lunch with my wife right now. And uh, I'm always hungry. <laughs> and I don't think it's necessarily the right way of approaching art. You know, to 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 have. A dead set idea of where you want to go. I mean, maybe you're blessed if you do. Who knows? I wasn't. I didn't. I, didn't, I had very little idea of what to do, where to go, how to do things. I had a, a mixed uh, amount of uh, beliefs, and and you know, it's not. It's not like I wasn't over the all over the place. I was nowhere because I was just starting out, so I had no idea what all over the place is. A lot of people talk about being all over the place. Like, oh, like you don't want to be all over the place, you want to be singular, you want to have a very, you know, very dead set style of painting. But when you're starting out, I don't even think that that's available to you. I mean, it is if you start automatically painting just like someone else, you know. I'm sure it's available. It's like, oh, okay, well, you go to a workshop and you learn, you know, some master's techniques or whatever. It sounds so kung fu. Master's techniques. But you know what I mean. And, uh... But I didn't want that for myself. I wanted to do something... I wanted to do me, right? But I didn't know what me was yet. So... One of the things that I started learning was to just, uh... Just paint. And, and this, I mean, I had to unlearn some things because I, I learned a lot of things that... And I'm not talking about necessarily painting, I'm talking about paradigms. I learned how not to pay attention to, to myself. Like, trust myself, trust my instincts. You know? That was, the, that was very difficult for me because I had to learn again how to trust myself, how to trust my instincts, how to, how to think uh, creatively while at the same time learning techniques from other artists and learning uh, things, you know, just, just stay, stay fresh, you know, just stay fresh. So I hope I'm making some sense. If I'm not, that's okay. It's probably because I'm hungry. <laughs> so bottom line is you want to stay hungry and not hungry like I'm hungry right now, but you want to stay hungry in the sense that you want to you wanna continue to, to learn. Whatever that is. Maybe, maybe you're in a place where you don't want to continue to learn, maybe necessarily continue to learn new techniques uh, of art, but maybe you want to learn how to communicate your, your, your message, your artwork to a, to a crowd, you know, to, 
or you want to you know learn how to sell online or, or offline or whatever you, you want to stay fresh i think that that's that's definitely key every time i create artwork uh i think of that i think of the importance to stay fresh <coughs> excuse me ah <laughs> Hey, little birdie, tweet tweet. <laughs> you know, and, and whatever that is for you, you know. It, it means different things to all of us to stay fresh. To some of us, just means to. Uh, Stay cool. <laughs> Stay fresh. <laughs> yeah, check it out, man. Uh, this is something I love doing. Start playing with color. The first part is like, oh, okay. Well, I have to get the, I have to get the little birdie, you know, somewhat the anatomy somewhere in there, and you know. Some sort of representation of this birdie. And then uh, after that, it's just playing with it. You know, letting the juices, the artistic juices take over, or just play with it. And you may, uh, using, using a lot of memory, using, using a lot of uh, intuition. Ah! <laughs> Speaking of intuition, let's just drop my palette. I'm like, intuition, uh, all over the place. <laughs> Ooh la la, check it out. Someone asked me what part of France I was from. I thought it was, I thought it was kind of cute. <laughs> kind of cute. <laughs> I'm like, no, guys, I'm Mexican. I'm totally from the state of Jalisco, where the tequila and the mariachi and the charros come from. The very first American cowboys, the charros. Well, I don't know if they were the very first ones, but the very first ones up here. Very proud to be from Jalisco. It's a beautiful state. Check it out. Para aquellos que hablan en español, soy mexicano, nacido en México. Mi nombre es José Trujillo. Y este, originario de Guadalajara, Jalisco. Y pues, aquí estoy pintándoles algo. See, I said it in Spanish too, for those of you who, who are like, dudes, dude, I know you speak Spanish, speak some Spanish. I totally do. I totally speak some español. Check it out. And then... This is one of the little things that I like to do, guys, so that it's like, you know, every now and then, I pull something out like this. Check it out. Piece of cardboard, okay? I know this is totally, like, not what most artists do. No, there's a lot of artists who do it. I just don't tell you. <laughs> Let me show you their, their je ne sais quoi in their studio. It needs to be a little shorter. There you go. And sometimes it just, you know, just lightly, lightly. It doesn't have to be much, just lightly. Check it out. Just little, little things, especially because this is board. This is not on canvas. So it's, it's, uh, it's, uh, firm, right? It's firm. Just very lightly. It doesn't have to be like a huge smudge. But check it out. And this kind of is to kind of keep it uh, in the whole we are one kind of thing. It's all mixed. Just for fun. <laughs> it helps, uh, uh, well, for me, right? I don't know. Someone else might be like, oh man, it was perfect. You ruined it. 
helps maintain uh, union throughout the painting. There's a bit of a union, and I don't want to do it like in key, very key places like the head where I distort the head, the face. I want to do it. I want to do it slightly around the body, and then maybe like right here, look, kind of let it fall. There you go. And just like that, very simple, yet effective. Very effective approach. You can also do it with a, with one of these. The only the only reason I don't like doing it in one of these is because you take sometimes more. You 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 you. It, it's very uh, it's very straight. And this works for me, like the, the edge is very straight. So that would work better when this is kind of drying. And then you kind of play with that. But since this is still very wet, I use the cardboard that is kind of wobbly, that it's not so straight, you know, that kind of thing. I hope I made any sense. See, it's because it's very straight, it, it takes the whole thing. But I still can get away with it. I still like it. And get some of the outside color in the bird because why not you know it's your painting well in this case this is my painting but when you're creating your paintings <laughs> you have to be so overt about it just kind of kiss it with the outside color be like oh what's going on there you know you can even put a little 3d right here look that's 3d I <laughs> put a little white in there, not too much, not too much, just to kind of let it know that it's there. Something like that, you guys. I'm very hungry. I think I'm going to go grab some lunch. I've been painting since uh, early in the morning, and this this dude, it's got to eat too. Check it out right there. It says, World's Greatest Living Artist. Bam! World's greatest. Oh, you know what I forgot? Before I don't I don't want to go without doing it. Um some some dark leaves. Because you know it'll help it. It'll help it be more um outdoorsy. This is a dark leaf. Boom. There's another one. Boom. There's a dark leaf right there. And then you can lighten them up if you want to a little bit. Let me see. Very little though. Not too much. Lighten it up. I'm going to lighten up. There you go. See? Ah, ooh. Lighten. Let's lighten this a little bit. And then I'll lighten you right there. Bam! Master artist. Master, the crowd goes wild. Ah. Check it out. Guys, the name is Jose Trujillo. I am one hell of an artist. I am the world's greatest living artist, for that matter. Here, I think I overdid this. The world's greatest living artist kind of overdid this right here. So I'm subtracting. There you go. There you guys have it. Thank you so much. I hope you guys uh, enjoy this little this little segment, painting this little birdie here. Have a wonderful day. I will be talking to you guys soon again. I will be showing you guys more of my little techniques of how I do things and whatnot. Uh, there's the palette. Check it out. This is my most expensive brush right there. It's like a $1.25 brush. My most expensive brush. <laughs> Let's do a close up. Shall we? Check it out. Look at that bird. The bird's like, Sit. How's it going? What you doing? All right. See? That's what I'm talking about. Right there, it says, World's Greatest Living Artist. It's just in short. Look at that. Look, look at this color. Some cat cadmium right there.
those of you who are into colors and know all about that cadmium red right there i love those cats look at them look at that fuchsia Ooh, -hoo. it's fuchsia with a bit of cad turn into a little magenta something like that all right guys thank you so much please uh give it some hearts some corazones if you liked it if you didn't like it let me know it's okay i'm a big boy too i can take it uh it's just the way i do things i like sharing the little process here I will be posting this on my Instagram wall and uh, I'm going to put a link on my profile uh, directly to a, to an auction. It's going to be a 99 cent auction. So if you guys want a shot at it, you're more than welcome. There is no reserves in my 99 cent auctions ever. I never put a reserve. So if you win it at whatever price, you win it at whatever price. So I don't have a hidden figure somewhere in there. So thank you so much, guys. Hasta luego. Bye-bye.